In this video, we're going to look at an Irish language poem, and I'm going to explain and translate it word by word and line by line, so you can get a flavour of the unique richness and beauty of Irish language poetry. So let's get on with it. So this is the poem. It's called An Rialach, which is the moon. An Rialach. And it was written by Katrina Nichler Heen. I'm going to read it first, then go down and translate it word by word and line by line, and then read it for a final time. She banreen na spirha e, oilyacht na hiha. Railta runda, a rihin roam. Mochara ar an voher. Ar trus, sa dorchadus, a haig a nish. Fui chelt, i gyo. Har fork is green, a etlin she. Ex scapa skylina. Ta on tear in a bucklin. Muspervan, muhri runda. So let's look at the first line there. She banrin nasperha e. That literally means she is the queen of the night or the queen of the sky, let's say more specifically. So she, the first word there she is is in relation to she female now banrian here that's like a queen banrian so ban is like ban far august ban and then re or i father re on its own is royal or it can be something like is extremely or or very and then banrian altogether then is like a queen so she banrian that's like saying she is the queen and then nasperha is the sky, or of the sky, and then E at the end, again, is in relation to her, as in it's her sky, or her we're talking about. The next line, Oilyacht na hiha, that just means the night's beauty, or the beauty of the night. So Oilyacht looks and sounds similar to Oiling, or Gohaling, as you might remember from previous phrases. It just means lovely, or uh, beautiful. And then na hiha, of the night, we know Iha, is night and then nahiha is of the night or to do with the night. Railta runda that just means secret star. So railta is a star, like a star in the sky, and runda is a secret. Arihin roam. So that means that runs before me. So arihin is something that runs, as in sort of like present tense. So ri is to run and arihin is uh, that runs, that something runs. Roam then, that's like a preposition. It's one of the few prepositions we have in this poem. And I'm just going to show you the list of prepositions now that that comes from. So this is part of the prepositions riv, which means before. So if you go down through them there briefly, we have roam, rot, river, rimpy, rowing, rov, and rumpu. So that they all literally mean before me, before you, before him, etc. as you go down through it. So when you see the sentence here, we'll go back to the sentence, a written Rome, that just means that runs before me. So Rome, as you'll see there, is the first of the list of prepositions that I showed you. Rome literally just means before me. Moving on, Mohara Aron Voher. So that means my friend on the road. Mohara is my friend. And then Aaron is on the, and Voher is road. Mohara Aaron Voher. Next line, Ertrus. That means on a trip. Now that can be pronounced Taurus as well. Um, it just means on a trip or on a journey as well. So Darkadus. That just means in darkness. So Sa is in, and then Darkadus just means darkness. A haig a nish. So that means her face now. It's the first part of the sentence, I suppose, even though they're different lines. So aig is like face, and then ahaig refers to her face. Anish just means now, as in presently. Fui helt. That means um, concealed or hidden or um, camouflaged, to be more specific. So fui technically means under. And helt is like camouflage. So it's just like saying under camouflage. Igyo, that means in fog. So the reason it's camouflaged or hidden is because of the fog. Um, 
as the moon would be uh, concealed on on certain nights of the year. So Igyo is in fog. So the G there is just an Uru. Kyo on its own is fog. Kyo. Har fork is green. Above or over parks and trees. So har can mean above or over. And then fork is green means parks and trees. Is there, the third word on that line, is just another word for August. Um, sometimes in poetry, it's a bit more um, poetic, let's say, to use is instead of August. Although, it, of course, it depends on the poet. Har fork is green above parks and trees. A et lean she, she flies. So et lean is the present tense like flying or, or to fly. And then she is relate, in relation to her. Egskapa skylana. That means spreading shadows. So egskapa there is spreading. That's like a verbal noun. And then skylana is shadows. Because that's what the moon does. It spreads shadows at night. Ta on tear in a bocklin. The country in her arms. So ta on is a present tense for the verb be. And then on tear is the country. In a bocklin, then, that means like in her arms or in her embrace, let's say. It's a poetic, um, eloquent way of saying uh, that you're hugging or embracing someone. Muspervan, that means my beauty. Now, literally, it means like sky woman. So it's sometimes referred to as someone very beautiful, like a beauty queen or a beautiful person, usually a lady or a beautiful woman. Um, spare means sky and van means woman so that's that's what it means literally must spare van my beauty mochri runda my secret heart so chri there is heart and runda is a secret and then mo is my and that's the last line there mochri runda my secret heart let's read it again then uh, one more time she banrin Nesperha e, oilyacht nehihe, railta runda, arihin roan, mochara aran voher, ar trus se darkedis a haig anish, fuichelt i gyo, har fark is chrin a et lienji, eg skapa skylana, ta an tir in a bocklin. Muspervan, Mochri Runda. Tasulagum Gwil to Sosta, Leshon Fishon, Shop, Vin me Anatanavas, Arenos. Beg me Arash Galua, August Slongful.